So we're 17 league games into the championship season and things are going okay. Uh, they could be better, but they could be far worse. We do have a lot of teams around us who are having good seasons as well. So it's not going to be quite as simple as I hoped it would be in the summer. So we've got a lot of games to get through, as you can imagine. The first of which following the last episode was a 3-0 home win against Swansea City. Ben Pearson, Ian Chapman and Kazim Etem with the goals. We then beat Crew in the League Cup first round, Endreka, Chapman and Ezia. We then suffered our first defeat of the season away from home against Millwall, who got a 93rd minute winner. Elliot Law was the man to do it. We bounced back though with a 2-0 away win against Nottingham Forest. Fortunately for us, they missed a penalty in the 57th minute, but a Richard Granger penalty and an Ian Chapman goal got us the three points. A 5-0 home win against Wigan. I followed that. They did go down to 10 men in the 45th minute. But at that point, we were already 4-0 up. Ian Chapman, Granger, Majaya, Waga, Pearson. We then beat Premier League West Ham in the League Cup second round 3-0. Abia Eze with the penalty. Ian Chapman and Jim Waga completing the goals. Of course, you then suffer defeat away from home against Ipswich Town after that. Sam Surge and Tobias Larson Lee saw with the goals for them. We then do 3-3 with QBR away from home. Ezia, Etim and Casares with the goals. We absolutely dominated high fly in Leicester 3-1 in this game. I believe they were top of the league at this point. Richard Granger with a brace and Ian Chapman with one. Preston next, away draw, 1-1, Granger with a goal. We then faced Premier League Sheffield United in the League Cup third round and won 2-0 away from home. Jim Walker and Ian Chapman with the goals. We then suffered a 1-0 defeat away from ho uh, at home against Brentford. Carlos Mafosa with the goal. It seems every time we win in the League Cup, we get beaten in the league. We bounce back though with a 3-1 away win against Stoke City, Jim Walker and Abia Ezio with two. We then beat Coventry City 3-0 at home. Jim Walker, Kazim Etim and Carl Humphrey with the goals. We drew 3-3 away from home against West Brom. A good result this. They are a good side in this league. Uh, Ian Chapman with a brace. 91st minute equaliser after we did go down to 10 men in the 61st minute. We then beat Brighton 2-1 at home. An own goal and Thawan with the goals in this one. They went down to 10 men in the 54th minute in this game. 4-0 away from home against Portsmouth. Kevin Majaya, Mbayumba, uh, Davis and Davis Ologulu and Bengua with the goals. I will look against Premier League opposition came to an end at home against Bournemouth. Got absolutely smashed 4-1. Braille and Bolo gave us all sorts of problems. And finally, it was a 1-0 away win against Middlesbrough. Again, we completely dominated and Ian Chapman got the only goal of the game. And that sees the championship table looking like this. We currently sit in third. Um, three draws and three defeats in 17 games is not too bad. Uh, the issue we've got is Fulham are absolutely running away with it. Still unbeaten. Um, so far, Millwall, they've played three extra games. So if we do win our three games in hand, we will go above them. Um, but obviously, that's not a guarantee whatsoever. You could easily draw or lose a couple of them games. So we're in a good position, not in a perfect position. Uh, playoffs are looking highly likely, but of course, we want them automatic promotion spots. The board are not too bothered, though. They're pretty happy with how things are going. They're only expecting a top half finish in the championship this season so we are rated as a b currently and they're very happy with a lot of the things we did in the transfer market in terms of the finances though we are losing a lot of money every single month so despite having a 52 million pound budget now as we have made a sale um I, I don't want to be spending too much of that if i do end up signing anybody in january i'm hoping to be uh, making a profit during that period uh, we will quickly review who we've sold. It's been Liam Delap. He has left to join um, Al Wada in the United Arab Emirates. He was our third choice striker, probably second choice really, but he hasn't. He didn't play any games for me. I don't think maybe a couple, couple of times off the bench. Um, but happy to let him go for 7.75 million. Once I've seen the financial situation the club was actually in, we are going to have to be the person who fixes that. But well, that takes us to today's episode. We are going to be facing Everton, who currently sit in 4th, and Blackburn away from home, who currently sit in 11th. So we've got a pretty much a full-strength lineup. The only injury so far is Matty Katsch, who's out for 3-5 to five months. He would usually be starting in that right-back spot, but it's going to have to be Gibbons um, until we at least get to January, and maybe I might be able to find somebody to slot in in that spot. But other than that, we're pretty much full-strength. Um, Jim Walker on the left-hand side, I'm really hoping he becomes natural in that position soon because he's not performing too well. But um, I'm not dropping him. He needs game time. 
uh, along with a lot of the other boys. Ian Chapman's had a good season. He's only scored seven goals um, in 17 games in the championship, but he's got 10 assists. So uh, he's definitely doing his business up front and we've changed his role to press him forward to more suit his mental attributes. And Everton still have Moise Keane, despite being in the championship. Moise Keane remains an Everton player. They've obviously got a very, very good side, uh, recently relegated. Still probably got a lot of the players that they had in the first relegation a couple of seasons ago. So uh, we'll have to see how things go today. We do want a win, but maybe a draw might, we might end up taking a draw. Now, I don't know if this highlight is going anywhere. It might very well be. Walker, down the left-hand side, goes for goal. Decent save by the keeper. Um, but yeah, we've got Walker and obviously Ian Chapman, our two young English wonder kids. I'm hoping that they're, in the second half of the season they will really start to blossom, particularly Walker. He has been improving quite a lot in his training and his attributes. It's just his league performances that are a little bit concerning. He's not in his natural position, and I understand that, and he needs time to adapt to that role and become natural in it but I just hope it happens sooner than later he was already green when he came out of the club in that position and he hasn't really progressed beyond that point as we get another highlight it's an Everton corner we do manage to deal with it but they retain possession the knock it up top Gerrard has found himself in a block of space and that is an excellent challenge by um, our defenders thankfully he was offside anyway we have ourselves another highlight 30 minutes in Everton give the ball away to Gibbons our right back and we can build from the back here. At him gets past his man on the right hand side. Is he going to whip it in? He is. Back post to Walker. Needs to do better with that. Another highlight now. Chapman with a free kick. Oh my. Oh it's been disallowed. Oh. M by Umba I think was the man who pushed the keeper. And that would have been a great goal. Ronaldinho-esque. Final highlight of the first half. Granger picks up the ball on this right hand side. Finds Edem in the box. Oh he hits the bar. We've had opportunities so far this half, but we haven't been able to take them, unfortunately. It was a dominant performance, though. I'm happy with how things have gone. Um, we just need to find that goal. Half an hour remaining in this match. The second half hasn't exactly started electrically. We're going to go attacking. Um, we've been on a balanced style game, and it has been working for us. Um, we've just got to be very, very wary of the counter-attack from Everton. 10 minutes to go, absolutely nothing happened in, in this second half. We'll make some changes. Inigo Gonzalez can come on as a right back. Izzy Brown on the right hand side. Um, Abia Ezier can come on for Jim Walker on the left hand side. And we'll see how these boys can do. If they can make any sort of difference, the time is just ticking away. I'm not going to make any more changes. Three minutes. Uh, second half just died out completely. Thankfully, though, we didn't get beat. That was the main objective today. Um, it would have been nice to get the three points, but Everton are a good side. And despite our domination in the first half, I think I'd take a point. So Blackburn Rovers are up next. They are currently sitting in 13th position. We were away from home though, so that could cause some issues. I'll see you there. So an unchanged side going into the Blackburn game. There is a couple of the players who are struggling in terms of their conditioning, but I'm going to stick with the same team. Hope that they can at least get some goals in this game. Um... Attacking wise, it has been a struggle at times this season to get some goals out of these players. I mean, we've got some fantastic attacking talent as well. Um, it's just been difficult sometimes. Defensively, we're not so bad, even though we didn't make too many changes defensively. I just think, as we're quite a dominant side in the league, we keep possession quite well. We're just not really getting into that final third and making our chances count. As Ian Chapman makes that chance count. It took a couple of t attempts, like, but... Um, he manages to get the goal eight minutes in and put us 1-0 in front. Um, the ball was played out by Pearson at this left-hand side for Endreka. It comes to Walker here in the centre. Um, he goes for goals blocked. Chapman goes for goals blocked. And then it sort of just ricochets off him and goes in. We'll take any goal. Whichever way it comes, I don't really care. Granger has picked up a knock. That's probably is about his fourth injury so far this season. Richard Granger was signed from Uvia for £7 million. Pounds. Um, I know you can't see his attributes too well there, but he's becoming a bit of a problem, child, to be quite honest with you, with these injuries. We might have to address that maybe in the summer. Ezier coming down the left-hand side. Pearson, come on, give it to Endraga. He doesn't, though. He switches the player to at him. It goes behind him. He has to work hard to keep that in. Tries to whip the ball in, and maybe it's going to be a Blackburn counter. Maybe it's not. They give the ball away. Ezier wins it. Chapman back to Ezia to et him on the right-hand side. He gets past his man. He goes for goal. Oh, comes to Jim Walker. It was a good save by the keeper. But Jim Walker ends up walking it out of play. <laughs> in fact, we're going to get Jim Walker off. He is proper struggling out there in terms of his fitness. 
he's obviously involved in the England under-21 setup, so he's not getting a lot of break time um, this season. So we'll have to keep an eye on that as the season progresses. Obviously, if we start overworking him, he's not really going to improve all that much. And we're playing it about in the defence and we give the ball away. Lorenzo picks it up for Blackburn. Caceres does well, though, to win the ball back. Ezia plays the ball over the top. Ian Chapman is in behind. Goes for goal. It's blocked by Ivan Eldor. Um, and that was the highlight. Fantastic. Time is just ticking away. And with only 28 minutes remaining, we will make our final substitute of the game. It's going to be Inigo Gonzalez coming on for Mejia in the centre of midfield. He's another one who's playing a lot of international football. Um... And finds himself struggling for fitness sometimes. I did see Kazim Etem ended up picking up a little bit of a knock there. Just as we made the final substitute. He's going to have to survive for the final 15 minutes. As Kobaki comes down this left hand side. He gets past his man. He, why, did, why did you shoot? Why? What was the point in that? And there is Kazim. He's picked up an injury. Potential lower leg injury. Could be a bad one. Um, we're going to have to wait and see. After this game to see what the damage is there. We're still 1-0 up. Two minutes to go. Uh, we managed to get that. Oh, it's a penalty. Oh, no. <sighs> Be another two points dropped. Butterworth steps up. And he buries it. Complete domination from us. Not creating enough in the final third. And we've paid the price. And there's Kazim Adams' injury now becoming a full-blown injury. He has to come off the pitch. And we have ourselves another highlight. We're down to ten men. Um, this isn't looking good. Porku comes down the right hand side for Blackburn. Can we get the challenge? And we can't. Ah, he gets he dances through. We managed to get the block. And Thiago look Butterworth. Good save by Griffiths. He's had some good games. Hugh Griffiths, by the way, he's been um crucial in some of our wins or draws. And it looks like it's going to be back to back draws in this game if we can hold out from this corner. Porku plays it in. We will manage to get it clear. And that is going to be it for today's games. Blackburn 1, Leeds 1. Not a great result. Um, the Everton game wasn't bad. The Blackburn game was. I think the tactic still needs tinkering with. I've been tinkering with it since we bloody started the season. <laughs> so we currently lie in 5th position in the Championship. A couple of draws there not doing us any favours. We've still got a game or two in hand on most of the teams above us. But... We need to start getting back to winning ways. In terms of the next step, we'll just check on Granger's injury. Another day injury, two weeks for Kazim. Um, in terms of next episode then, it's going to be the January transfer window. I'm flying through this championship season. Got a lot of games in between, obviously, and we'll see where we land. We might have to make some major changes in January if we are expected to get automatic promotion or want to get automatic promotion, which I think should be the aim for this squad. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.